this session is about automation testing and uh, we'll be learning a new automation tool this is a microsoft tool and it is also called as vsds coded ui automation tool so vsds here stands for visual studio uh, team system and uh, coded ui is a type of test that gets created for this tool so you can also call it as a coded ui automation tool so you might already be aware of the existing tools in the market which are used for automation testing like hp qtp rft or selenium so as compared to those tools this is pretty new tool in the market but uh, this tool is getting a very good response from automation testers so uh, let's see what uh, exactly is coded ui tool and uh, in which scenarios you can use this tool what are the technologies supported what type of applications are supported for this tool so uh, coded ui uh, tool can test your web application or uh, windows based applications so if your web application is built on the dotnet framework uh, or you have a windows based uh, desktop applications you can use coded ui for uh, automating your test so what i mean by windows based desktop application is uh, the example would be a calculator so calculator is a desktop application and if you want to do app, uh, automation testing for that, that kind of uh, application you can use this tool so uh, this tools uh, comes with visual studio premium or visual studio ultimate version so in your project if your dev team is already using uh, uh, premium or ultimate version of Vig visual studio so you already have this tool integrated in that software so you can directly start with the uh, automation testing uh, using this tool so uh, let's see what are the other different type of applications which are supported by coded ui so uh, it also supports wpf applications wpf is a uh, windows presentation forms applications and uh, sharepoint applications or office client applications or uh, dynamic crm uh, applications so all these type of applications uh, can easily be automated or you can test these application using automation uh, testing uh, using coded ui tool now one of the biggest advantage of this tool is this tool uses visual studio and visual studio has very good ide for uh, development task so uh, even the testers can use that IDE to write their scripts, uh, to write their test scripts and automate the uh, entire application. Uh, so let's see what are the uh, uh, different types of tests or what are the features of the uh, this coded UI tool. So as I said, the the test which is created in this tool is called as coded UI test, and uh, you can also call it as CUIT. And uh, the, the different features of this tool are record and playback feature. Uh, which is like uh, which comes with most of the uh, other automation tools as well also this tools allows you to actually write a code instead of record and playback approach so that approach is called as descriptive programming the languages which are supported for this task is uh, c sharp and vb.net so if your testers are aware of uh, c sharp or vb.net then they can even write their code for the automation testing instead of using the record and playback feature so anyone using applications uh, which are built on the dotnet framework can very well use this uh, coded ui tool now let's see what are the different type of testings which you can perform with coded ui tool so coded ui tool has a, a very vast you can see the vast coverage of uh, different types of tests that can be performed within this tool so you can perform unit testing you can perform functional regression testing using this tool you can perform load testing and also it supports uh, testing your uh, windows applications so these are the different types of tests which you can uh, perform using coded ui now the scope of this session would be uh, understanding the functional regression testing using coded ui tool so let's discuss in, in which scenario you would be using coded ui for uh, your uh, regression testing so it is recommended that if your application is stable and you have set of functionalities which are not changing or uh, the development team is not working on those functionalities but uh, as the development team is working on the enhancements you would like to test those functionalities again before releasing your product to the client so in that in, in this scenario it is very suitable for you to create a uh, to create automation test of your regression scope 
so if you have already identified the regression scope in your uh, in your project in your application so you are good to go with the code ady uh, test scripts uh, like you can uh, directly start writing your test scripts and uh, start testing your uh, regression scope